Hello and welcome back to goldstocktrades.com. Today we have here with us James Anderson. James is CEO of New Legacy Gold. New Legacy can be traded as NUG on the TSX Venture, and it also can be traded as NULGF on the OTC. Thanks, James, for being here with us. Thanks very much, Jeb. It's, uh, it's always nice to talk with you, and uh, thanks for the opportunity for me to share our story with your listeners. James, we've been following New Legacy Gold for some time now, for about three quarters. Perhaps you can give some of my listeners who are new to the story a brief synopsis about what New Legacy is all about. Yeah, for sure, Jeff. Um, New Legacy is a gold explorer. Uh, we're entirely focused in the great mining state of Nevada. We have an important new gold discovery. It's called the Iceberg Gold Deposit, right in the heart of the Cortez Trend, which is where Barrett Gold Corp's best gold assets are located. And we're partnered with Barrick on our project, in a, in a fairly unique earning arrangement, which will likely see Barrick spend all of the money necessary to bring our deposit to production after we complete our initial earning. Interesting. You recently announced a new corporate advisor that's come on board, Mr. Alex Davidson. Why is that person crucial to the new legacy story? Yeah, okay. It's a, it's a great question. Um, the addition of Alex Davidson represents a real coup for New Legacy. It represents an important vote of confidence in New Legacy's iceberg, the iceberg project and in New Legacy's management. Um, Alex, Alex is recognized and respected as one of the most capable geologists in the world today. Uh, he's an expert in carbon-type geology and he's an expert in the Cortez trend. He can readily judge the iceberg's potential and, frankly, uh, our management's capabilities. Talk to us a little bit more about that, James. Yeah, okay. Um, Alex has had a stellar career um, culminating in his leadership of Barrick Gold's great operational team. He was executive vice president of exploration and corporate development at Barrick through the, through the great expansion years of Barrick during the 1990s and the early 2000s. Um, he was given the, the PDAC's Mining Man of the Year Award in 2003 for his role in the discovery of the, the multi-million ounce Lagunas Norte deposit. Um, he was involved in numerous corporate development opportunities at Barrick, spearheading that expansion with takeovers or, well, takeovers or mergers of Sutton Resources, Arequipa, Pangea, Homestake, um, and several others. And finally, uh, the merger with Placer Dome in 2005, which provided Barrick with its best asset today, which is the, the Cortez Complex in Nevada. And that includes the pipeline, the Cortez Hills, and Gold Rush deposits. So how will this help New Legacy? Okay, well, um, as I mentioned, Alex was Vice President of Exploration. Well, uh, he was Vice President of both Exploration and Corporate Development at Barrick, which is it's kind of an unusual combination. So on the one hand, he's a great geologist, and he's already influencing uh, New Legacy's understanding of our iceberg deposit. Um, his input will help inform our head of exploration, uh, Dr. Roger Steiniger's decisions on targeting the 45 or so holes that we intend to drill over the next 18 months once we finish the current round of financing. So geologically, it's very important. But on the other hand, Alex's corporate development skills will help us in marketing the company and in financing our exploration needs and ultimately in capitalizing on the values that we're currently generating within the company. And, and I guess finally, uh, one more benefit of ha having Alex on board will be to improve our communications with Barrick. He, he knows absolutely everybody there, uh, particularly at the operations and, and exploration level in Elko. Uh, you know, that, that's where the actual work is actually done. So it's, it's important to have him on board for that reason as well. And let's discuss your iceberg deposit, which is situated adjacent to Barrick's Gold Rush discovery. Maybe you can update us on some of the significant, significant geological progress you made this past summer. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, let's let's talk about iceberg um, for starters. Um, the most important thing for people to understand about our discovery is that it is in the best place to find a gold deposit anywhere on the planet. Now, first, we're in Nevada, 
It's politically stable. It's not in some foreign jurisdiction where some dictatorial government is going to steal your deposit. Um, just as importantly, Nevada has a mining-friendly mentality, and that will allow our company to permit our exploration and development activities in a timely manner, unlike a lot of other jurisdictions in the world. Now, where we are specifically in Nevada, in the Cortez trend, there's numerous gold deposits, but um, even more importantly, I think, for your listeners, among those numerous gold deposits, there are three huge world-class gold deposits. One's called Pipeline, the other one's called Cortez Hills, and the other one, which is, which is relatively new and directly adjacent to where we're working, is called Gold Rush. Those deposits contain 21, 15, and 14 million ounces of gold, respectively. These are very large and very valuable deposits, and our project is directly next in line to those three. Uh, directly adjacent, like I said, to the to the this new gold rush deposit. James, you of course have Dr. Roger Steininger uh, as chief operating officer and as the head of ex exploration of New Legacy. He discovered the first of these massive deposits, the pipeline deposit. That's right, and uh, you know, of course, Roger is um, as you mentioned, he's our chief operating officer. He's the nuts and bolts of our exploration in Nevada. Um, uh, Cortez was known to have a number of um, kind of medium-sized um, gold deposits maybe about 20 years ago or a little more than that. Uh, Roger ended up um, drilling for Royal Gold um, the pipeline deposit, what, what they became known as the pipeline deposit. Um, initially, Roger felt that the, that the deposit would contain about a million ounces of gold at pipeline. It ended up containing 21 million ounces. And that's where we feel that we are right now with Iceberg. Um, from the drilling that we've done so far, we can see an envelope of mineralization that contains one and a half to two million ounces of gold. But we've got an enormous amount of work ahead of us, which could lead to the discovery of, of another one of these mega deposits in the Cortez trend. And that's why Roger called it the, the Iceberg deposit originally, because he feels we might be looking at just the tip of the iceberg of something that's very large uh, underneath that. Interesting. James, can you please tell our audience about the features of the agreement that you have with Barrick, one of the large, I think the largest publicly traded gold company on, on your iceberg project? Yeah, yeah. And, and thanks for bringing that up, Jeff. Um, that really is one of the things that sets New Legacy apart from many, many of the other cash-strapped junior explorers out there. Um, New Legacy has to spend an additional $2.9 million on our property to earn a 70% interest in, in the project. At that point, Barrick has two choices. They can retain a 30% minority um, partnership, or they can elect to spend $15 million on exploration on the property to re-earn an additional 40% interest in the property. So this will leave them, Barrick, with a 70% interest in the project, it will leave us with a 30% interest in the project, but that 30% interest will be a carried to production interest. So that means that once we've completed our $2.9 million worth of spending, Barrick will be compelled to spend all of the rest of the money to take this project right through to production. So it's a great deal for us, especially in light of how difficult it is to raise capital in this current money raising environment. So $2.9 million gets us all the way to production. And I don't think that you can say that about any other project uh, you know, of note anywhere in the world right now. So your new advisor that's come on board, Alex Davidson, he must be impressed with this agreement. Yes, he is. He absolutely is. As a matter of fact, um, uh, Alex was surprised that New Legacy got a chance at this project. Um, you, know, you have to remember, Alex is a, a Cortez Trend expert. You know, prior to joining our team, he went to our exploration office in Reno. He studied all of our drilling data. Then he went to the project itself to get a, a, a real hands-on feel for the deposit. Um, Alex is investing a significant amount of money in our company, and that makes, well, frankly, that makes me feel really great. It's one thing for me to be convinced that this deposit has a chance of being another giant mine in the Cortez trend, but when Alex Davidson thinks enough of it to invest money and time and join our team, it's a huge vote of confidence in what we're doing, and, and what we think we're on to. 
James Anderson, CEO of New Legacy Gold, which can be traded as NUG on the TSX Venture or NULGF on the OTC. Thanks for speaking with us today. Jeff, again, thanks very much for the opportunity, and um, uh, I hope to do this again with you real soon.